All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to start off giving all praise, glory, and honor be to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakach, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David, beginning with the 144,000 and the rest of the men and women and children out of the 12 tribes whom Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will have mercy upon. I'm your brother, Matiz Abath, from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Melbourne, Australia. And what I wanted to do was a response, all right, to uh, the GMS rally camp, all right, with the elder Harat, all right, um, going up against brother Hassad. Now, this is pretty much um, me giving my spiritual two cents in the matter. And um, I want to use this video that you're about to witness um as a edification and exhortation to you brethren out there and the reason why all right every israelite all right in this truth all right doesn't always mean well okay and you're about to see what i mean by that because as the elder hawad goes into this video he stated multiple times to brother hasad that you had ample amount of two to time to watch the videos and if you still can't get it after watching the videos, that's not a GMS problem. That's a you problem, Hassad. Okay? And I might title the lesson something on the lines of that. This is not a GMS problem. This is a you problem, Hassad. So your problem with not understanding the doctrine, specifically dealing with Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39, you need to go back to the drawing board and you need to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to give you the increase to understand. Because at this point in time, all right, you're not only going against the 100% truth, which is the sound doctrine, all right, but you've been marked pursuant to Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. All right. Now, for those of you, all right, because I understand, you know, the elders went into this, all right, and even the apostles have done some land backs off of this. So, it's all good. If you don't want to see this or what I'm going into, just turn the video off and go somewhere else. All right. But the spirit is on me, as I stated, to do a spiritual, um, you know, intake to give my spiritual two cents on the matter, because this is something that not only needs to be seen, but a lot of you brothers out there that are in that spirit of debating or you're in that spirit of why can't you Israelites just unite and get along? You're, you're about to witness on why we don't do that, because the scripture says, all right, let's start that off in um, Luke, the uh, second chapter. OK, and we bring this out all the time. All right. But you Israelites have to understand when Yahweh was born. OK, he wasn't born to unite the whole house of Israel. OK, he, he came to not only do the bidding of Yahweh. OK, and to restore Israel back to the heavenly father. But it, it was through the elect. OK, that's what you Israelites need to understand. And so when you see things like Brother Hassad, who was a former member of Sakari, all right, showing up at the GMS rally camp, it's almost in a sense like he's falling into that spirit of what vocab. All right. Haman Malone is doing. All right. Just rocking up to the camps. All right. With that one of debate spirit and oh, but I have a question that no, man, we're not we're not taking no questions no more, man. OK, you have the videos and if you can't get it, OK, that's on you. But this is Luke chapter two and verse thirty four, which says, and Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and arising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Now, the key part there is Yahweh Shai was set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. OK, that's key to understanding what this is really about, because not all Israel is of Israel pertaining to Romans, the um, the ninth chapter. OK, the Lord is only looking for his elect and the elect. OK, they're going to get the true understanding of the scriptures. So once again, it is not GMS fault, Hassad. That you can't get it. There's no need for you to come up and, well, you know, can I ask a question? Hell to the no, you can't ask no questions, my man. We don't want to deal with you. You see, verse 35, which is also key, it says, yea, a sword 
shall pierce through thy own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And that's happening because after you came on Apostle Ramlob's le uh, live lesson, he already broke it down to you. And so remember, the scriptures is when you get uh, Hebrews four and twelve, it says what for the word of the most high is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And it's showing because when everybody did, including the beloved elder apostle Tahar, the breakdown on Ezekiel, the 38 chapter. All right. And went into it. You said in the video, which I'm about to play, that you, you know, you get it. You saw the video, but you just had one question. And Elder Hawat. All right. He told you that. No, nah, that, that's no. Go back and watch the videos, man. OK, even brothers who have attended those lessons drop precepts within the comment board to help add to the uh, lesson at hand, man, so that it can bring out more edification. Right. But let me stop talking and let me just play this uh, little small excerpt here in this video. I'll, I'll repent right now. Repent, but can you bro. show me? Can you show me? Long, 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 That's all I'm asking. We've been showing y'all week, but you ain't watching the videos. Go watch the video, bro. Why would I do that when I can talk to you, though, bro? We ain't going to keep going on this year after year. We've been going over the secret 38th chapter for years, bro. Okay. You still, so why can I and see, the, the, you have to be careful when you have Israelites that say that. Why? But why? Can I when, when he said that, you know, why do I have to do that when I can just come to you? The reason being is because that's the order. OK, what does the scripture say pertaining to order from the elders? Let's get the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus eight. All right. And verse eight. Um, it says, despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs for of them thou shalt learn instruction. And how to serve great man with ease. So if you claiming, like you said, and uh, when you were speaking to Elder Hawad, all right, that, you know, you have love for the brothers and stuff like that. Part of having love for the brothers is showing humility, man. And you're not showing humility. That's why it says thou shalt learn instruction. Right. But here's the point. Verse nine. It says, miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers. And of them thou shalt learn understanding and to give answer as need requireth. As need requireth. You see? So our elders, okay, they are in a sense our fathers because they have rule over our spirits, man. Okay? In terms of getting the understanding of these scriptures, how you're supposed to walk within this ministry. This, that, and the third, man. Right? Because the scriptures also says, let's get a uh, second Timothy two. All right. And I'm going to start at verse 23 on down. It says, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes. We're going to come back to verse 23, but I want to continue to read on. It says, and the servant of the Lord, which you, you claim to be a servant of Yahweh Bashim al right? Hasad. Well, it says the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If the most high peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Because you ask, well, from wrong, tell me you're wrong. Nigga, we told you you was wrong, man. Did not Apostle Ramla said you're wrong, brother. You are wrong. So why the fuck is you coming up to GMS rally camp because you talking about, well, I can't go to Paul, so I, got, I guess I come to you. No. Why couldn't you take the correction and the rebuke from the actual apostles themselves telling you that you wrong? Where was the humbleness right then and there? Verse 25, one more time, it says, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If the most high per eventual will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Clearly, you haven't been recovered, man. This is why the scripture says first Corinthians, the 14th chapter. OK, and the 38th verse. But if any man be ignorant, 
Let him be ignorant. That's the reason why Elder Hawaii said, if you don't get it, it's just it's not meant for you to get it, man. You want to be ignorant, be ignorant. Go back and watch the videos, man. You don't need to come up to the actual camp asking any questions. As the scripture says, let's get 2 Corinthians 3 and 4. All right. Or actually 4 and 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right. And you clearly are lost because you said in the video that are you. Yeah, I understand the scripture says, you know, the election have detained and the, and the rest were blinded. All right. I get all of that. So if you get that, why are you still here, man? Ask a question about it, brother. It's as important as it is. Come on, bro. I'm, not, I'm obviously not trying to be weird. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting to ask a question. Still, when it, you is weird. The video's already out there, bro. It's a question. Everybody, it's a question. everybody seen the video. The video's up. Right. Any question to anything, you can go type in Great Millstone, this, that, and the third, and the video's going to pop up. Why would I type it? You can't get it. I can talk to my brother. Why can I talk to my brother? Talk to the video. We're going to, well, let's answer that with scripture. Why can I talk to my brother, though? This is the reason why. Matter of fact, let's get it in the Apocrypha first. Let's get Ecclesiasticus 22 and 13. Ecclesiasticus 22 and 13. Here's, your, here's the answer, Hasad. It says, talk not much with a fool and go not to him that hath no understanding. You don't have no understanding. It says, beware of him, lest thou have trouble. That's why we don't want to fucking talk to you. And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. Because once again, and I always say this in my lessons, there's no point in debating and going back and forth with an individual who clearly has no understanding. Why? Because no edification is going to come out of that. It's just going to be a never ending going back and forth. But can I but can, can I just come to you, my brother, and just ask the question? Fuck no. And excuse my French. Because as the scripture says, you're going to never be you, you're going to end up never being disquieted with madness. You're not going to find rest. And let's go from there. You can precept that to Proverbs. Uh, what's that? Proverbs twenty nine and nine. It says, if a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. You see, you can't all you can't go. But that's this is why the apostles always teaches us that if they don't get it, send them on down the street, man. It's no point of wasting time arguing back and forth, man. We're not going to go back and forth. Matter of fact, let's get a uh, first Timothy six. All right, because you coming up with some other doctrine that you've learned from Sakari. First Timothy six and three. If any man teach otherwise and can sit not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach and to the doctrine, which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but dotting about questions. And strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil uh, uh, surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. Didn't say come into um, this whole brotherly love and we just talking. I'm just trying to ask you a question. No, dude, we already know what time it is. Let's get Proverbs. Real quick, 26 and 4. Okay, it says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Because you, it's easy for you to fall into that debate, that wicked ass debating spirit, man. It says, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. And the scriptures talk about not being wise in, the, in, uh, in your own conceit, man. That's why you need to step back and say, damn, you know what? Let me let me go back to the drawing board and maybe let me pray and fast and ask you how about Shemiah Rashad to and give me the increase. Because see here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles. Let's get first uh, Corinthians three. And um, let's see here. I want to get to. 
I'm going to start at verse five, but the point is at verse six and seven. It says, who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos watered, but the Most High gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but the Most High that giveth the increase. So here at Great Millstone, when you came to Apostle Ramlob, and you asked the question, was Ezekiel 38 through 39, speaking of after the destruction, and we and he told you no, as well as many other brethren, you still bucking up against that order. That's why the elder Hawad said, go back and watch the videos. Even uh, Bishop Ayathon from Connecticut, if I pronounce his name correctly, he always says at uh, camp that sometimes with when you deal with the scriptures, you have to constantly go over it again and again and again. OK, you have to sometimes read it several times in order for you to actually get it, man. And see, the Lord don't work like that, like you ain't going to go through a lesson and then all of a sudden you're going to get it right then and there. Sometimes if like Elder Apostle Bar always says, don't be here for entertainment purposes. When these uh, lessons come out, you're supposed to be writing down, jotting notes, and then you need to go back in your free time and go over it. Keep going over it, man. Because at the end of the day, it's the Heavenly Father that give it the increase. All right. You had ample amount of two to time to watch the videos, man. Watch the video, cause look, see, basically what you're doing is you already think you got your mind made up already. You already think you got the answer already. I think I did. Yeah, you think you got the answer already. You think you got the answer already. So no matter what we bring out according to the Bible, you're gonna say that's not it. That's not true. That's not true, bro. Go ahead, though, bro. But I come out here all the time and it's nothing but love. I sat here and waited. This is love. We're not going to keep going back and forth every week, you know what I'm saying? Oh, brother, I've never, I've never been back with you, though, brother. The has been going over it. Go watch the video. Okay, can I ask a different question about the difference between verse, yeah. verse 9, it says, Romans 11 and 9, and David said, so the Lord said he's not the author of confusion. What you bring right. is confusion. The breakdown is already out there, bro. Asking a question is confusion, Go ahead, don't. The breakdown is already out there. The question that you're asking, yo, it's already out there, bro. I don't even know what my question is. You just said Ezekiel 38th chapter, but bro. But it's not just about Ezekiel 38th chapter. Go ahead, though. David said that the table be made a stair and a trap and a stumbling block and a reek of pence. Yeah, this is about Romans 11 and 9. And David said, let the table be for eight cut. Romans 11 and 8. And according as it's written, that how I've given them the stair. Somebody ain't going back and forth with somebody that ain't going to believe what the scriptures are saying. They're going to believe what they, they say. You just brought it out. Um, Jeremiah the 17th chapter, verse 9. Don't lean into your own understanding. We're giving you the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. You're not going to accept it. You already got your mind made up already, bro. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if you repent from it, then kudos. But we're not going to every week going over Ezekiel 30th chapter every week, every week. We're not going to be doing it, bro. bro. The video came in like ahead. days ago. What you mean? Go ahead. The Bible's been breaking it out, you know, since 2007 and before, bro. You just didn't watch the video. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, like, and like he said, 100% absolutely correct. Going all the way back from 2007 when the apostles first came on the scene on YouTube. And that was back then when YouTube wouldn't allow you. Uh, they they will only allow you to post 10 minute videos. So there was so many different parts of the breakdowns that the apostles um, had to break up in series of 10 minute videos. Those videos, well, majority of them, they're still up on YouTube today. That's why Elder Hawa said all you got to do is go into GMS Ezekiel, the 38 chapter breakdown. You'll see. Hundreds of videos of brothers from all over the, the different parts of the region going into that chapter, breaking it down, man. And if you and if you still can't get it, first Corinthians 14, 38, if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. You know, so I'm, I'm going to leave it off there. That's pretty much all I got to say on it. Just wanted to give my take, you know, on dealing with that. And um, hey. We're going to end it off. Romans 16. All right. And 17, it says now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we're not going like the elder said, we're not going to go back week in, week in, week out over the same topic. If you can't get it and it's not just to Hassab, but this goes to any of you other brothers that's on some bullshit, want to constantly go back and forth with the elders. And then you want to play that sneak up on a brother type of nonsense where well, I can't go to the apostle. I'm going to come to you, brothers. We're not dealing. We're not doing that, man. All right. Let's cut the foolishness, man. 
All right. We're not doing that. That's all I got on that. Shalom.